Hello there, the topic of the today's video lecture is how you can use expert high score to find your product using your XRD. So here, what is this? This is your XRD file. You can open it. And when you open this XRD file, you can see you have the two theta column and you have the intensity column. So what's the next step? You have to perform the save as function like control shift s. So you can click all files here and then at the end of this, at the end of the name, you have to write dot .asc, okay, dot .asc. It is actually the extension for the expert high score. So click save. So after clicking save, you can see we have another file here and this is the expert high score file. Now you have to double click to open it. So as you can see here that our file, it has been opened on the expert high score. Now, um, the next thing is, you can see that this here is your XRD pattern. This here is the intensity and this here is the two theta values. Okay, so um, as I move the arrow here, you can see there is a despacing value and then there's the two theta value. Like if I want to find the location of this peak, I, uh, I just move my cursor to this location and then you can see uh, you can match its uh, two theta value. Like it's 36.1. You can see here the two theta value of the peak and you can see here that when I take it here, it's, that's 36.1. So this location is 36.1. So in this way, you can find the locations of the peak. Now, uh, what you have to do is you have to perform the analysis then go to search and match and then execute search and match. Okay, so after that, what you have to do, you have to go to restrictions, edit restriction sets. Now, for this one, first of all, make sure that all of these two columns, they should be empty. So perform the cross. Okay, now all of these two columns are empty. Now go to the priority table. Now, there are some, uh, these three, these four options, like if it's red, so if red means that none of these elements should be searched, like these elements are not present in my compound. So I know that my compound, uh, that I have uh, formed some iron oxide and some cobalt oxide or cobalt iron oxide, so I don't know what has been formed. So uh, what I have to do is I have to, um, you can say, uh, deselect all, or you can say, select. if I select all, then that's green, select all again, select all again. Okay, so now you can see all of them have all of them has been turned red like on nothing like none of them is present. Okay, the next thing is uh, I want that my compound should contain cobalt. So I will color it uh, green like I I'm definitely sure that cobalt must be present and then I'm definitely sure that iron iron it must be present so I will also color the iron green and then I'm definitely sure that oxygen it should be present so I will color the iron green now I will have to press ok and then perform load ok first of all uh, you can go back to edit restriction set and after like doing that you have to click on add rest to none and then click load and then click search so after that you can see uh, we have these two uh, compounds that has been appeared that matches somewhat uh, our pattern. So we can click on these to find whether they match our pattern or not. So here, th here is the score. So you can see it's only 2% matching. So matching is very, very, very low. So it means that cobalt ferrite is formed, but it is formed in very minute quantity. So um, you can see this cobalt ferrite COFE2O4, it's matching. So here is our, our own XRD and these are the peaks, like these are the peaks that I have selected from uh, here. So you can see, uh, I can compare it here. So here is our own XRD and here are the peaks. So you can see that this peak is matching with this one and this peak is matching with this one. So if you just want to match the peaks, you can look here. Like you can see that this peak, the green is our own XRD and the blue lines, they are the uh, plot that I have selected from here. So you can see that this peak is matching with this one, this is matching with this one and this peak matching is this one and you can see there's a little bit of peak and it's matching with this one. So these are some of the little peaks that are matching uh, with our own compounds. So you can see that cobalt ferrite is formed but you can see it score is very low so its quantity is very less and um, we have only a few peaks that are matching now um, you can see that here this peak is also matching this is also matching this is also matching so there's uh, the peaks of the cobalt ferrite they are not very much uh, you can say not very much intensive so now what i have to do is i have to find like if there is any other thing present so again i have to perform analysis execute search and match edit restriction sets now go back to priority table now 
uh, I have found that I have the cobalt ferrite like I have definitely cobalt iron and oxide that are present all together so I have uh, made it green like cobalt iron and oxide they are present all together so I made it green now I want that there should be some cobalt iron or oxygen like they can be presented separately so I will call it blue so at least one of means that it's blue so if I if I call it blue then it means that at least one of these uh, the, at, it should be present so then click OK and then add rest to none and then load and then search and then press OK so after performing that you can see um, there is the matching with Fe2O3 so it means iron oxide has formed okay so um, here we go so, yes okay so i have just rearranged it now you can see that iron oxide it has formed so there are some peaks that belong to iron oxide so here you can see that we are we the the, the, the peaks they are not very much visible so but here you can see that these peaks they are very much visible so you can select any other pattern or you can just uh, look at this pattern here so if i select the second one pattern okay so i just select the second one pattern and you can see that some of the peaks they become visible so you can see that this peak here it's belonging here and this peak is belonging here it is belonging here and it is belonging here so you can see that these peaks they are matching to uh, to some extent so it, it means that we have the cobalt iron oxide as well as we have the fe2o3 so it means that our compound it contains uh, like two phases cobalt iron oxide as well as the iron oxide now so this is the way how you can uh, do the peak matching using the expert high score now you can do uh, if you want to collect these values like uh, if i want to collect the value of iron oxide i have to double click it okay then click okay if error occurs and then you can see here is the here is the, all the information like you can see that fe2o3 it has this reference code and here is the compound name and here is its empirical formula the chemical formula and you can see its rhombohedral and its space group and as well as the space group number is also given now um you can find its hkl values like for every peak you have the hkl value so you can see this is the number of the peak like number of peak one two three four five so overall we have 26 peaks and along with the 26 Peaks, we have the hkl values the plane values and then here is the two theta the location of each of the peak and here's the intensity of each of the peak okay so in this way you can get the two theta value as well as the t spacing as well as the hkl value and the intensity of each of the peak so you can just copy them and you can uh, use it um, to uh, you can use it in the origin to uh, for the peak matching okay so this is how you can match your peak using the expert high score so if you have any question you can ask me in the comments thank you okay and one more thing um if you do not have um like if you have if you do not have the database you have to download the database in order to first of all match these peaks so you can see um, i have the database here you can see manage database here you can see I have this database that contains around uh, four four lakh ninety five thousand, and then I have around um, thirteen one lakh thirty one thousand compounds here. So it's like five lakh and thirteen uh, one lakh. So it's like I have the database of seven lakh around seven or six lakh compounds. So whenever I'm searching anything by compound, it's being matched with that of the database that I have present. So it's important that you have a good database. Okay, so that was all from my side. Thank you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments.